hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically we can integrate the flask stripe card checkout example let me show you the application here if i start this application on localhost 5000 you will be able to receive stripe payments inside your flask application using a simple you will see there will be a pay pay with card button out there and uh, if you click this button you will be able to simply enter your email address enter your credit card details out there card number my all that stuff for this first of all you need to go to stripe dashboard and simply turn on the test mode here so simply turn on the test mode basically i i have an acting active account of stripe so i am just for this application i am just turning on this test mode here and then go to developer option and then go to api keys and right here first of all you just need to uh, set your click this publishable key this will be different for you so don't copy mine and right here in my uh, script right here i will be showing you the script step by step so i will first of all copy paste this publishable key and then i need to copy paste this uh, secret key so you will see if you click this button you will be able to see you need to enter your password here for that so simply enter the password and after that you will be able to select your secret key so this will be different for your account also so this is the way by which basically you can get access to the secret key simply copy this and inside your script python app.py wherever you just need to paste your secret key this is the basically the process and now we can start this application if i refresh this so once again if you uh, hit this button out there for making the payment we are using the stripe charges api if you click this button right here you will see now it will be showing it is in test mode and right here you can enter your email address and then you can enter the text test card which is 4242 and then you can enter any future date and any uh, CVC, CVC number and then you can enter the zip code if you click this pay ten dollars now it will put this uh, into payment will be completed and uh, this error will definitely come guys if you are from India I am from India so that's why this error will come if you are not from India or if you are on from any other country your transaction will be completed because in India this uh, they have discontinued the support for stripe charges api that's why you will be able to see this error so it is perfectly normal if you are living in india so there are various options that you can use instead of charges api you can use payment intent api i will definitely upload a video on this channel regarding that payment intent api which supports 3d secure transactions but I will be showing you this process step by step. So let's start this video. So first of all, I have written the complete blog post on my tutorial website, which is in the video description. I have given the link. So here you can copy paste all the source code with the step by step instructions. So first of all, you need to install these two modules, which is uh, Flask and Stripe. So just go to the command line and pip install Flask and Stripe. So these two modules are needed for this application. I have already installed this. So first of all, we will simply delete these two files and start from scratch. So just make app.py and right here, we will simply now start this application. So just wait. Yeah, this is full source code. So let me yes I will write this source code step by step so that you understand each and every piece of code so just inside your app.py file guys so here we again need to import the stripe module at the very top and also we just need to import the flask module from flask we just need to import the flask module and here we will be initializing the app which is flask after this we will simply set the private key or the api key of the secret key of your stripe dashboard so simply go to the 
developers this is your secret key simply copy and paste it after this guys we will be initializing a simple route here when we go to the home page we will be initializing basically loading a template out there which is called as render template we will be rendering a template which is index.html so this render template you can import this from flask like this and now you just need to make uh, a templates folder and inside this just make a file index.html so right here guys basically this file will contain a simple pay with card button out there and this action will go to slash charge method here will be post right here so inside this guys we will be loading the stripe checkout library so here we will simply say checkout dot stripe dot com slash checkout js that's all so we have loaded this and this takes some parameters guys so inside these parameters we just need to pass something here so here we will be passing the class here which is equal to stripe button and basically we need to pass the data key parameter which will be the publishable key so if you now go to your dashboard simply copy this publishable key simply paste it next parameter is the amount how many amounts you want to say i will put here 100 us dollars so you can also put the currency as well so usd and data dot name so you can put your product name let's suppose i am selling let's suppose a programming course i will simply say programming course you can also give it a short little description as well this is a programming course and then we can also put the image as well of the course as well so we can simply copy this image so here you can give the full url of the image product where you are selling right here and data locale uh, auto as well so these are different parameters you can attach and also if you want to receive the zip code you can also put this property data zip code to true so this will also ask the user zip code as well so that's all so now you can start your application if you start this if i say if name is equal to main and in that case we can simply say debug true that's all you will see now we can start this application python it will start this application on a local host so we will have this button out there you will see that if i click this button we will say you can see programming course this is a programming course out there so you will see the amount is one dollar i think i have provided a hundred dollar sorry this needs to be a thousand if you just refresh it right here so now you will see it is changed to ten dollar so okay so i think it's translating rupees here so rupees thousand rupees is roughly ten dollars so that's all so now you can see that basically now we just need to make this post request which is slash char charge so right here we will make this post request guys basically so right here if you see so app dot route we will make this route of charge and basically it's a simply a post request so we will simply say here methods we can simply say methods this will be an array and inside this guys we will have a simple method of charge and basically here we will be uh, getting the token from the form so we can simply use the request module of flask request that's all so we can get the 
request.form.get we can get the token using this property which is stripe token that's all after we get this token we can write the code inside try catch we will make this initialize charge here which is stripe dot charge and it contains this method to create the charge and inside this we will provide the amount here which is roughly thousand and currency is in USD so you will provide USD so this is value is in cents out there so and source is equal to token that's all and description basically you will say this is basic video course that's all you can just change these values accordingly to your product and if any sort of error take place you can have a accept block stripe dot error dot card error as e and here we can simply redirect the user to the error screen so you can simply say url for so we can just import these redirect module and url for as well that's all from flask and if all goes well we can simply redirect the user to the success page so after the payment wherever you need to go to the user you can simply redirect the user to the success page so we can define these two parameters out there which is success and error these two routes just after this you will see if success is there we will simply say to the user payment successful here we can also redirect the user to any url and then if any sort of error take place there was an error processing your payment please try again that's all so this application is complete guys so now you can start your application and if you are living it in different country other than india you will be able to execute this application you will write your number so credit card basic card details you will write this write the cvc and the zip code so as you see sorry let's say 32 so as i'm living in india so that's why this stripe charges api doesn't work it is not stripe has discontinued the support